the muscles is more motivated to fight the way that he did at the end at yeah you never know what these guys are going to show up on if they're slow starters about everything shortened we don't know how long they had to warm up but the warm-up is very which is a lot of different looks he likes to wrestle he likes to stay uh very distant the prospect out of new mexico in the flyweight division he was targeted to get in scrap but we know what brandon royval yeah. has come into the ufc and done so jerome that was a match back but jerome rivera looking for a big result tonight and rivera has a ton of skill to he throws that straight success landing, that shot at the end when everybody else normally stops, building his way up now. He says that the longer it takes, hence the weight class switch on his way down the flyweight where it's not as <laughs> laugh in my face, but Killer. I don't want to spend a lot of time in <laughs> my career in the Bantamweight division. And calm he is on this walk, DC. Well, when he when he fought in his UFC debut, he fought 25. We'll actually fight at featherweight tonight at 145. You mentioned four years older at 29 years old. The new weight class for each of these guys. Jay Osborne setting the table for. Are live from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas for UFC Fight Night. Overeem versus Volkov. And now this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record. Ten wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall. Weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Jerome Renegade. Rivera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Eight wins, three losses, one no contest. He stands five feet seven and one half inches tall, weighing in at 143 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by way of Kingston, Jamaica, O'Day, the Jamaican sensation of Born. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Chris Tyone. Chris Tyone draws the first assignment of the night here in Las Vegas. Jerome Rivera plus 180 as the underdog tonight against the minus 210 Ode Osborne. Born in Jamaica, moved to New York, and then settled down in Florida. Eventually found his way up to Wisconsin. Wrestled one year in college, did Ode Osborne. Then they got rid of the program. He had ideas of maybe chasing an Olympic wrestling slot, but uh, turned to MMA. It's worked out for him so far in his career. There's not many of those slots, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. It's tough, like tough six to do. people get to wrestle, you know, but guys have big dreams. But, I mean, fighting in the UFC is not like you're not fighting on a master right. stage and accomplishing lifelong goals. I can't help but to want to... Oh, oh wow! Oh, my God! Piles on that's that's that left hander. 30 yeah. seconds Woo. to there get it, it done for the Jamaican yeah. sensation. Yeah. That left hand down. Just Jamie. like you said. <laughs> that's the one to watch, DC. Way to watch your film, man. Jeez Louise. I mean, the timing, right? The timing off of that high kick. You saw Rivera try to start a little faster. And, you know, I spoke about it being a tough situation. It's much worse now. I mean, look at the high kick Rivera throws. Oh, they rolls it and then just oh. throws that straight left right down the pipe. I mean, lands right on the chin and then gives Rivera no chance to recover. But watch him roll the shoulder. He rolls the shoulder, takes the kick on the back, and then just returns. I mean, that was fantastic by Ode Osborne. It's exactly the way you drill it on pad work right there. You wait for the kick and you return every time. When you return off of kicks, it's hard for them to get their feet out from underneath them, so they stay planted for just a moment. But look at how he caught the foot on the shoulder, like you said, DC. While he rolled, that kept Rivera's foot up on that shoulder, which stuck him for a second, landed the left hand after. Man, after a statement win on Dana White's Contender Series a couple of years ago okay, in 2019, his first UFC victory comes tonight after a lengthy layoff to, to make sure he was in the right place and, and you know, say hello to a new contender. Hey, mate. welcome back, Ode. You've been gone for a while. It's nice to see you, buddy. It's nice to see Ode Osborne have that type of performance. What a knockout and what a way to get your Don't first UFC. He probably didn't cut a pound of weight either. So he's feeling good, huh? Yeah, he's feeling very good after that result. Let's make it official. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, O'Day, the Jamaican sensation, Osborne. Well, he's proven to be an exciting fighter every time out. He's finished eight of his nine victories, seven of them 
in the first round, Dom, and it's certainly hard to draw it up any better than that. Yeah, when you look at his record and you see the amount of finishes he has in the first round, you have to be aware for him to come out very strong and very heavy and have the best timing, and that's what we just saw. UFC veteran Zach Otto in the corner of Ode Osborne, who works out of Pura Vida BJJ in Milwaukee. And he credits Ben Tones with really getting him started on combat sports in general. Osborne was a football player in high school, and freshman football coach Ben Tones also got him into wrestling. Second year of high school wrestling, placed sixth in the state of Wisconsin. So uh, he was a quick learner. For us tonight is the one and only. Live from the UFC Apex. And now, this fight is three rounds in the U. Out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. In at 145 pounds. Fighting. And Rivera. Mixed martial artist holding professional record. Eight wins, three losses. At 143 and one half pounds. Fighting. Hey, the Jamaican sensation. Charge, Chris Tyone. Chris Tyone drawn 80 as the underdog tonight against the minus 210 down in Florida. Eventually found his way up to Wisconsin. Wrestled one year in college wrestling slot, but uh, turned to MMA. It's worked out for him so far in his school, you know. But guys have big dreams, accomplishing lifelong goals. I can't help but to want to oh, oh, it to get is. it done for the Jamaican sensation. Yeah. That left hand, okay. jeez Louise. I mean. The timing, right? The timing off of that being a tough situation, it's much worse now. I mean, look at the lands right on the chin and then gives Rivera no chance to, re and then just returns. I mean, that was fantastic by Ode Osborne. It's a turn off of kicks. It's hard for them to get their feet out from underneath them, so they stay playing. Kept Rivera's foot up on that shoulder, which stuck him for a second, Land. A couple of years ago okay, in 2019, his first UF, you know, say hello to a new contender. Hey, mate. welcome back, Ode. You ready? Knockout. And what a way to get your Don't first UFC. He probably didn't cut a pound of weight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Tyone's called a stop to this con. Knockout! Ode! The Jamaican center. Well, he's proven to be an exciting fighter every time out. Certainly hard to draw it up any better than that. Yeah, when you look at his record, very strong and very heavy and have the best timing, and that's what we just saw. You have. BJJ in Milwaukee, and he created a football player in high school, and freshman football coach Ben State of Wisconsin, so uh, he was a quick learner. Yes. All right, another look, Dom. Let's take a look how that one ended quickly. Let's see this replay. We see Rivera throws that very good right, uh, excuse me, left high kick, but he gets stuck on the shoulder, and that allows that left hand right down the pipe. Just like pad work, you catch the high, you catch the high kick and you return catches it see how it sticks on his elbow just right there that's what allows that left hand to come down the pipe because Rivera's foot is stuck up on that shoulder it gets stuck there and then BAM left hand I mean it doesn't get more laser than that beautiful finish by Osborne DC let's go Ode Osborne welcome back to the UFC's octagon my man could you ever have imagined that that would go down like that after being away for so long I did, man. I, I, I did, honestly. I, I dreamt about it for a whole year, you know. Um, I did. And I, 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 I lost sleep over it, man. I, I've been, I cried walking out because, you know, I feel like God's presence was just heavily over me. And I've, I've dreamt about this for a long time. And, um, you know what I mean? Um, it, it's just unreal right now. If anyone's ever watched your work, you know that the left hand is like a piston. And, Raj, look at this video right here. You roll that kick as he throws the high left kick, and then you let that thing fly. I mean, were you expecting him to be there? And is that something you guys trained? You almost held it up on the shoulder with your with your with your roll. Yeah, I just trust my instinct. You know, um, I catch a lot. Rivera of kicks making the quick turn. Watch. If you look at all my fights, um, I every every kick that's thrown, I just I I have kind of. I kind of just absorb it with my body and I strike right away. So that's been a thing that I usually do. I just catch kicks and I go. You Ode, how, it's okay. Go I'm ahead. sorry, buddy. Ode, how quick would you like to return? Now, you were gone for way too long for my taste. I want to see you compete again. I want to watch you perform. How quickly would you like to get back in the octagon? Shit, next week, man. Get me, <laughs> get me in there next week. Uh, you know, I think it's only fair, too. You know, um, he, he lost to uh, Figueroa's brother. You know, that's, that's somebody I was, I was eyeing out. I was like, ooh. You know what I mean? I didn't come all this way because I'm supposed to fight a flyweight. I'm actually, this is my third opponent um, for this fight. I was supposed to fight 
um, on, at Flyweight, and I went up two weight classes. So, you know, um, if, like I said, uh, I looked at, he, he fought Figueroa's brother and lost to him. So it'd only be fair, you know what I'm saying, if I get if I get a chance at Figueroa's brother if he wants it, or Figueroa, I didn't come here to, to I didn't come here to, to fight, you know, I came here to be a champion, you know what I'm saying? I came here to be a champion, so that's what I, I wanna, you know, whatever it takes to get to get that belt. What a fantastic job. All the momentum you had on the contender series is all back on your side right now, my man. Congratulations on the great performance. Go enjoy the night and look forward to seeing you fight again. Hey, thank you, man. You do you one of the you one of my favorite commentators <laughs> too, man. You 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 you, you and uh, um, um, Dominic Cruz got one of the best <laughs> fight IQs in the game, man. I just thank wanted to you. say that you guys are awesome, man. Thank you, my man. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Consider me the lucky one, then. Hey, I got DC and Dom tonight.